So this is the PDF owner's manual for the TT250 from CSC and it tells you how to diagnose the charging system. So I found some of the wiring diagrams for the rectifiers and this is on CSC's website for the TT250. Now we don't have a chassis ground coming off of ours either. So here it says the red and green wires go to the battery to charge it and the yellow wires come from the motorcycle's stator. And that looks like the part that we have here, except for the chassis ground. And then I found a wiring diagram for what looks like the one that came off of the bike. And it tells you that there's the yellow AC input, the black is the key switch, red is the DC output, green is ground, and pink is AC input. So we could do red and green the same way red and green are on here, but we have to figure out the three yellow wires. So I was looking at the Honda right here, and the regulator or rectifier is the same on this. It's that silver part right there. It runs up to this plug here with your red and green, and then your three yellows. So that's a two connector, five wire. Same setup as the one we just bought. So this is the original regulator hooked back up to the TVR7 in the factory plug. And the wires going in are not the same colors as the wires going out, so that's always helpful too. It looks like the only one they switched was from pink on this top right to white. So tracing the wires out of the rectifier, the factory one, they changed colors here from pink to white, but that's no big deal. Still tracing them. So the green is ground and splices in the three other greens right here. And it runs to the back of the bike and a couple other places, so we know green's ground. Then you have to follow the yellow, white, red, and black. So the red goes to the back of the bike after splicing in up here. The black splices into a couple other blacks and goes towards the back. I haven't traced that one down yet fully. The white and yellow both go right here into this plug. They both come out of this plug as yellows. You can see the top two pins there. Top two pins there. White, yellow. Both come out as yellow. They go down into here as the two yellows. Connect the red and the green to the red and the green. And then just guess on the other three. So they want you to find the red and green wires, which we know where those are on the old one. And we'll see if it's between 13 and 14. So we're going to fill up our new battery with the acid. And then we'll go from there. But now that we redid all the connections, we're going to test the old regulator before we go any further. So when I bought that battery, it had a three-month warranty. And we exchanged it for our new battery. And I was just looking, and it comes with another three-month warranty, so no worries there. We can just keep exchanging the batteries at CarQuest, I guess. Somebody out there is probably going to comment that all my TBR7 electrical issues are because I was jump starting it off the lawnmower battery and then I was starting it with no key. But I didn't do any of that stuff until after it was having electrical issues because at that point you have nothing to lose. The charging system wasn't working anyways. Right now the TBR7 is wired to the lawnmower battery. We have the original regulator on there and I have my probes in the red and green wire. So right now we're getting 12 and a half volts with the bike off. We're going to go ahead and start it up and see if we get between 13 and 14 is what the website said. So we'll turn the TBR7 on, fire it up. It hasn't ran in a while, we might have to choke it. So we're getting 13.8 there. Thirteen and a half at idle. So maybe our regulator is good. We'll test the battery. The battery is getting thirteen eight. So it appears the charging system is okay now. 
Maybe it was just bad connection, so we'll put it all back together like this. Maybe we got lucky, even though we bought the extra part for no reason. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and say it might have been bad connections. I don't know. We'll see what happens.